Jdiv is back at it, here to give everyone another Game of Thrones Season 5 episode review video. Before I get into that though, pretty important if you're not caught up to the point where I am in re-watching or watching Game of Thrones, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which of course, I'll say as well as put in the description for you if that happens to be the case and you're not caught up. It would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further, just to stay away from any potential spoilers. This will be Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode Number 4. The title of this episode is called Sons of Harpy. This will be my review reaction recap after just finishing watching the episode. Mace Tyrell informs Cersei that the Iron Bank has called in 10% of their debt and that they can pay only half that amount. Cersei sends Mace Tyrell to Bravos with Mare and Trent to negotiate a deal. Now... Do you remember who's in Bravos or that area? Arya Stark. Who's on Arya's list? Marin Trent. Yep. Anyway, Cersei authorizes the High Sparrow to revive the Faith Militant, the military of the Faith of the Seven. Now, the Faith Militant kill a bunch of people, go crazy on uh, Baelish's uh, his uh, his porn place. Uh, and then they arrest Loras Tyrell because of his homosexuality. And then Marjorie asks Tommen to order uh, Loras's release, but the Faith Militant prevent Tommen from disturbing the High Sparrow because he's in prayer. And Tommen doesn't want to interrupt that and doesn't want to kill anybody. He wants to stay. I don't know. Tommen is going to regret this decision, but he was too passive. But he wasn't a crazy little bastard like Joffrey. We needed him more in between. Tommen was super nice. Joffrey was a fucking asshole. Bastard, little psychopath. We needed the in-between. And that would have been a good king. I think. It's fictional, though. So who knows. Uh, and then Marjorie, because of this, informs Olena of the situation. Jon Snow sends letters to various nobles requesting men for the Night's Watch uh, at Samwell's request, including, to his chagrin... Roos Bolton. Melisandre attempts to seduce Jon to join Stannis in taking Winterfell from the Boltons. And she actually lets Jon fill her up. She's about to straddle him a little bit, but Jon declines and pushes her off. And then as she departs, Melisandre repeats Egret's saying, And final words to Jon, if you don't remember, You know nothing, Jon Snow. Interesting stuff there. Shireen asks Stannis if he is ashamed of her deformity from Grayscale, and then Stannis recalls how she contracted Grayscale and uh, his efforts to cure her rather than exile her and reaffirms her status as his daughter. Baelish informs Sansa that he is leaving Winterfell to return to King's Landing at Cersei's request. He adds that Stannis will soon take Winterfell from the Boltons and make Sansa Wardeness of the North. Jamie and Braun arrive in Dorne. They have a cool uh, altercation with some Dorne soldiers where Braun kills a bunch of them and then Jamie has to deal with one of them. And he's almost about to die and the guy lifts his sword up and he's about to stab Jamie with it or slice Jamie with it. But Jamie puts his arm up and it catches on his, his, his fake uh, hand or his fake forearm. No, it's, it was his hand. And uh, that was pretty cool. And then Jamie's able to stab him because the guy's sword is stuck in Jamie's uh, his uh, fake uh, hand there. So that was pretty cool stuff. And uh, Jamie actually tells Bronn that he will kill Tyrion for murdering Tywin if he ever sees him again. Now, I don't think that's true. Did he not trust Bronn or what? But I don't think he would ever do that. Oberyn's bastard daughters, Obara, Namira, and known as the Sand Snakes, learn that Jaime has infiltrated Dorne and they agree to join Ilaria in st starting a war uh, against the Lannisters by killing Marcella. Uh-oh. Marcella is an innocent bystander, did nothing wrong, by the way. Jorah sets sail with his captive, uh, for, with the captive Tyrion, who starts to figure out uh, what's going on and figures out that this is Jorah Mormont and uh, finds out that he's being taken to Daenerys and not Cersei. Daenerys receives his daughter who repeats his request to reopen the fighting pits. 
noting that it can unite the masters and the freedmen. Meanwhile, Grey Worm and several Unsullied are attacked by the Sons of Harpy. Barrist and Selmy arrives to assist Grey Worm, and they are successful in slaying their attackers before both collapse from their wounds. And I do believe, spoiler alert, that Barristan is dead. If he's not dead now, he dies right away in the next episode, but I'm pretty sure he's dead after this. He saved the day because Grey Worm was going to get it. And he actually had some good moments with Daenerys too that I didn't really mention. But they were important character, character building moments for Barristan to make him uh, more important. So that's how the episode ends. Uh, very interesting episode to say the least. Uh, crazy stuff at the end with uh, Barristan and uh, Grey Worm. And uh, yeah, as far as a score of this particular episode... I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I know some people give it a higher score, but honestly, these episodes in Season 5, if you like Season 5, I'm sorry to say, but I'm just not a fan of Season 5. In my opinion, and I'm already saying this without with, without rewatching the rest of the series, Season 5 is the worst season of Game of Thrones. It has some good episodes, but all the crazy episodes are at the end that I really enjoy, like Hard Home, which we'll get to a review in that uh, shortly here. And uh, my character of the episode, it was kind of hard to pick, actually. I could give it to Cersei for just doing random things to fuck people. I could give it to Melisandre just because, well, she's hot. But I'm going to give it to Barristan Selmy because he's a great protector of Daenerys. And he, of course, risked his life to uh, help the Unsullied. And, you know, he's either dead this episode or right away in the next episode. I can't remember exactly, but... He's gone. Yeah. R.I.P. Barristan. So you've heard what I have to say. Now it is your turn if you're a fan of Game of Thrones and you like this series. I know you might not like all the seasons, but if you generally like most of the seasons on Game of Thrones, do me a favor and smash that like button. If there's anybody that you know that would be interested in Game of Thrones reviews, especially the ones I do, make sure you share the video with them. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about your thoughts on the episode. Who would be your character of the episode? What would you score this episode? And what was your favorite moment of the episode? And then last but certainly not least, I definitely want to grow the channel. I know this is kind of old stuff. It's not current anymore, but uh, don't forget to hit that sub button. Subscribe to the channel. Join the team. Show your damn support and be a part of something special. And of course, JDev will return.